All right, I thought I'd give a little update on the this winter, the scanic that I've now had for since uh, uh, mid-season last last year, 2022. So still holding up great, uh, no complaints at all. It's actually um, a lot better now than than maybe what I thought it was. Uh, I think the the low weight and having the weight in the front with the big floaty skis is actually makes this a pretty formidable deep snow machine uh, and not 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 worse than than the 550 Scandic or anything like that. So I'm I'm very happy with it um, with the snow trailing I've been doing so far. Uh, this is some of the snow grooming equipment that I use to take the trails around here. This is basically just to take the top offs. It's very heavy to pull, especially if there's... You wouldn't want to pull this if the snow is like wet or anything. This is for hard packed trails. Um, it's made by these rebars, really thick. I don't know, 16 millimeter or something rebars, uh, and it just it just demolishes the tops and, and stuff. It's pretty long. It's three. It's almost four meters long, um, and it's great for eating out trails, uh, and things like that. Uh, the small one here is a little bit lighter to pull, actually. It doesn't rip as much. I usually use this just to knock down uh, new trails uh, or flatten where someone has gone before me. Maybe I haven't, when I haven't had time to um, to do the trail um, myself. It's even though it looks a lot heavier maybe than, than than this one. It's it's lighter to pull. I can pull this through. Uh, I, I know on flat ground I can pretty much turn around in deep snow with this if I had to. Um, it would be a little sketchy, but um, yeah, I, I can. I usually drive a lot faster with this one uh, as well, uh, just to, you know, if there's a couple of centimeters of snow or something, you just take the air out of the snow and and even out an already maybe even track. The blades don't stick down more than you know, maybe half a centimeter, so it doesn't actually cut cut, cut that hard. Uh, it, but it's pretty good at just pulling snow with you, so you can get it down in the deeper, like, ditches and valleys and stuff. So and Then I have my own made packing plate, which is super simple. It's just a rubber mat. Uh, gives you a little bit of a Manchester type trailing. It's just a rubber mat with a steel skeleton and a bunch of bolts through it and a weight on it. So there's one big heavy log there and then um, it packs on a bunch of snow. So it's, I usually hook this one to either this or that one. Um, the best result is probably the, if I hook it to that one and um, and use this one you get a really nice nice trail so anyway that's uh, what I'm working with um, I'm really happy with this unfortunately I won't be able to ride this that much more this winter I'm moving house so that's gonna take up most of my next month which would be the good part of the snow season we are very low on on snow here um, we should be having another 20 30 centimeters um, it's been even plus degrees here which is packed down that's quite hard you you can almost ride on top of this the snow um, so hopefully um, around Easter I should be able to get back up here and, and uh, fix some trails and groom some trails and, and, and ride so snowmobile Anyway, that's an update for me. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, subscribe if you want to.
give some updates on the stuff and uh, write some comments below or ask me some questions if you have any. Uh, later.